Okay, when I took the clamps off, you can see that it's not attached at the top here. So, I forgot to tie it off when I got to the top. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We do, we do make mistakes. So, you run into these mistakes it's not a big deal I'm going to this is what I didn't do I'm going to thread this through this stitch and I'm going to tie it off this is a another one of my terrible videos sorry guys I've tied it and I'm going I'm going to go back you know what I'm going to do I'm just going to tie them this way so that I don't have to stitch through holes I'm just tying these and pulling them together and I'm going to come back to this one loop my needle in there and hopefully it'll knot properly. And it did. So I'm going to come back to this one and I'm going to it's just actually tying the two signatures together which is what I forgot to do. <laughs> do that one more time coming to the back mm. sometimes a rounded needle those curved needles work better and I just want to make sure it's never going to come out by running it through one more time Now, <laughs> our journal is, the signatures are done. So, um, I know in my last video where they joined, and I might have the same problem, and you may, as, may have the same problem too, Yes, there is a space. So what I do, what I do with this, is tape it together. In all instances. So if you want to cover this, now would be the time. Um, it's entirely up to you but I think for now I'm not sure I'm going to cover this journal I'm just going to run and get my masking tape I'm just going to roughly get a, a length that I can work with And you can use your 
bone folder to burnish it down. Usually we, especially on these kinds of journals, you're probably going to want to gesso first. But if you don't, that's okay. Um, yeah, they all have and that's what I ran across last time. Although when I use watercolor paper, 110 pound watercolor paper, I never ever have this problem. Now, I don't know why. Other, the last signature, which is really fairly loose. Um, as before, I'm just going to get a piece that I can work with. Stick it down to one side. And kind of push it together. And burnish. And if you don't mind having, you know, a split in your um, journal in each signature, then you don't need the masking tape. Unless you're doing a full spread, then the masking tape comes in handy. So this, whoops, okay, threads and everything here. Okay. So I would feel better. I'm going to show you how to cover it. And for this journal, I'm going to use masking tape. So, um, not sure if it's like I want to get it about right. So if I come into about here, I'm going to trim this off. And I really like using masking tape because it and then I'm just going to use the book itself to fold it, burnish it, and fold it back over. that burnishing it really helps a little bit of an overhang on the top here so I'm going to trim that oh it's sticking to me I've got some more down here, so I'm going to trim it as close as I can. There's still a little bit more. I'm going to trim that, and I'm going to trim that. And 
the top is here, so I just wanted to double check on our mask areas now. See, there, it's holding together very well. So, what I would do at this point is you can paint this page up to that, or you can get some decorative uh, paper and just glue it all the way around. It's now bound, which is nice. I like the yellow. It's a light color, but I mean you might want decorative black and white or you can use any of those or just your plain Jane carpet tape, whatever. <laughs> Silver. <laughs> Anyways, that was a quick tutorial uh, on how I make these and mistakes and all. It's all here. I'm not editing it. I'm going to upload it now and hopefully uh, you'll get a better understanding uh, in comparison to the last one I did. So thanks for watching everyone. Bye-bye.